Our democracy is in danger because of the lies that people like Ronna McDaniel have pushed on this country. We weren't asked our opinion of the hiring, but if we were, we would have strongly objected to it for several re reasons. She has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? You wouldn't hire a pickpocket to work as a TSA screener. And so I, I find the decision to put her on the payroll ex inexplicable. Rachel Maddow had a lot to say. Did you know she spent 29 minutes on the topic of Ronna McDaniel? That's a lot of unearned free airtime for Ronna. I'm sure it won't be free, though. They created quite the toxic work environment publicly. There are a lot of witnesses who saw that. What happened to leadership at MSNBC to let the talent publicly bully a new employee? TV hosts at the network picked a fight with their own executives on air, telling them they had to drop former Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniel. And those execs dumped her just five days after announcing her contract. A source close to Ronna McDaniel says she heard the news through media reports, not from NBC. The news chairman explained it this way in an internal memo, and you know these always leak. No organization, particularly a newsroom, can succeed unless it is cohesive and aligned. Over the last few days, it has become clear that this appointment undermines that goal. Well, it was a dumpster fire. It's about professionalism. It's about respect. It's about the nature of, forget about Republicans. If they had, you know, it's about conservatism. It's about some, somebody who doesn't follow the, the line, yeah. who doesn't toe the line, who does not conform. It's just another embodiment of this cancel culture that has spread across not only media, but every sphere of our life. Alexis McAdams with more. Alexis. Hey, Harris. Well, McDaniel's team tells me it really comes down to this. They're livid that NBC just allowed their own talent to drag McDaniel through the mud over and over again on the channel, saying NBC is letting the inmates run the asylum here. So we are just hearing from some sources very close to McDaniel that she still hasn't even heard Harris from the network this morning, finding out only through media reports that she had been canned. McDaniel's was outed or ousted rather after major outrage from many MSNBC hosts like Rachel Maddow, who was one of the most vocal, pushing hard for NBC News to drop McDaniel and last night celebrated the network's reversal watch. When somebody does the right thing, I feel like it should be acknowledged as publicly as we acknowledged our outrage. I'm, I'm grateful that our, our leadership was willing to do the, I think, the, the bold, strong, resilient thing. I really appreciate working in a place that was able to say, we got this one wrong, and then made the right decision. Our company listened to us, to you, and did what was right. Originally, NBC stressed the importance of having a, quote, voice like Rana's on the team. But man, how things change, Harris. Yesterday, this memo was sent out from NBC Universal News Group telling staff McDaniel was no longer with their network, saying, I want to personally apologize to our team members who felt we let them down. NBC chairman Cesar Conde saying, while this was a collective recommendation by some members of our leadership team, I proved it and I take full responsibility for it, trying to apologize to the people that work for him. McDaniel was just on with Meet the Press. She talked about her time at the RNC and why it's important for voters to hear all sides. I think you should tr trust me. I, I mean, I can't, I can't speak to people who don't trust different voices. I think you should be able to hear from different voices. A source who knows about the deal tells me NBC will have to pay McDaniel out her two-year contract. That's going to be around $600,000, I'm told. Also, Harris, McDaniel is already talking to a high-level media attorney who has dealt with cases like this before, and she plans to sue NBC News, Harris. Yeah, uh, nobody yeah. told those toxic coworkers that they shouldn't have bullied her in public like that. That opens yeah. up the entire company to lawsuits. That's right. We'll cover it. Thank you. Many of NBC's talent claimed their issue with Ronna McDaniel was her ties to Donald Trump and his election denial. But the network has on guests who are Democrats often, and they cast doubt on election results. The RNC compiled this. Watch. Trump knows he's an illegitimate president. The president or elect, although legally elected, is not legitimate. And the only way they could win the election was to stop the voting in Florida. After the election, when you stole the election, you came back here and said, get over it. No, we're not going to get over it. They turned the Department of Civil Rights and the Justice Department into the Voter Suppression Division. Without voter suppression, Stacey Abrams would be the governor of Georgia. The election was not fair. The process was not fair. If Stacey Abrams doesn't win in Georgia, they stole it. It's clear. It's clear. 
Jen Psaki, former Biden press secretary turned MSNBC anchor, peddled the conspiracy theory that the Hunter laptop story was Russian disinformation. There's her tweet. Hunter Biden's story is Russian disinfo, dozens of former Intel officials say. Can we get a name of anybody who still says that after all of the clarifications and retractions? Not an apology, mind you, but all of those journalists who weren't journaling the truth. Can we get that? Jason Chaffetz, Fox News contributor, former Republican congressman from Utah. All right, here we go. Your thoughts. Um, I always find it rich, Harris, when the people that preach diversity, equity, inclusion are the very first people to, to deny people, to, to push them aside because they've got diversity of thought. I, and, and what they did and how they did this to Ronna McDaniel is, is so abhorrent, is so wrong. They don't want anybody in their club that doesn't toe the exact line that Rachel Maddow and, and Chuck Todd, and some of these others, want them to toe. So again, don't, don't be telling me about diversity and inclusion and all these other things the way you treated Ronna McDaniel. It was just absolutely fundamentally wrong. Yeah, whatever happened to the great debate? I mean, I, I, I guess yeah. that's, that's out of the question. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.